Today we have Diana and singing, and I'm really like, oh, one of my favorite songs, Havana. I can't believe it. It's been a long time since I've heard her sing in English because I'm always reacting to, obviously, her Russian songs in her native tongue. But let's leave the motherland behind and she goes on holiday and here she is singing an English song that I know really, really well. And I'm going to give you a bit of bio for her Russian fans and her fan club about it because it's worth knowing that this song is so prestigious and it made Cuban-American singer Camilla Cabello very famous. It's been her, Camilla's favorite song that everybody wants her to sing in concerts. It's been her most successful song to date. Now it featured the original fellow rapper Young Thug and it was released in 2017 with OMG from her solo debut album Camilla. And that was in 2018. It was initially released, believe it or not, as a promotional single. Then it went to the radio in September in 2017 as a single. And due to its rising and rising success, more people were playing it and air playing it, Havana later became the official lead single of Camilla, replacing Crying in the Club. Now, in November 2017, a remix version of the song with Puerto Rican rapper Daddy Yankee was uploaded to Cabello's YouTube page. The first verse of the remix is sung in Spanish while Daddy Yankee replaces Young Thug's verse that when he initially sang it with Camilla, he replaces that. Havana has received critical acclaim with music critics calling the song sultry, bouncy. Havana has peaked at the top of the Billboard 100 outside the United States. Havana topped the charts in 23 countries worldwide everywhere its music video was directed originally by david mayers and shows the original singer cabello playing herself as carla as well as telenovela actress and film protagonist it won the video of the year award at the 2000 mtv video music awards receiving three other nominations a vertical video uh directed by Sam Lecker, was released in November 2017 on Cabello's official Vivo account. The clip shows the singer and several dances in the New York City subway. Now, and it was also a Spotify exclusive, so you can imagine it went on and on and on. And people would say, well, therefore, what is the song about? Havana is a song by Camilla, taken from that first album, Camilla, and as I said, the best chart-topping hit. And in the song, it really is about Cabello sings for her love of the city of Havana, Cuba and a Cuban heritage. So we have the Russian powerhouse that is Diana Ankutinova singing Havana. And I'm looking forward to watching this in its entirety because she'll give it a more, she'll give it that sultry, sultry flavor. I'm going to attach to this video because I have featured Camilla on my channel twice. I want you to maybe click on to her, one of her songs and enjoy, continue the Cuban experience. So there you go. Let's enjoy this anyway. I have the lyrics in front of me. And they're going to be so easy to digest. I had to go 
say Diana it's a big woo 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 from me because oof, I got into that I, I can't help it I love Latin music my partner is Spanish so you have to forgive me from Russia all the Russian fans you go what is he doing he's distracting me from watching my favorite artist Diana well let me tell you something if you don't get dancing to Diana's music I think it's sad I've seen many reactions and they just Oh, Diana, Diana. And that is in music that ought to get you a little bit. And they're sitting there waiting for, I don't know, her to hit a high note. or But that's Diana relaxing with her audience. And the audience are responding. And they're loving it. And that's what I tend to do. I go with the music. I'm a music reactor. So if I've distracted you... I'm not going to be bothered today because I'm in too good a form. Just get rid of that, make it more professional. It's all live. I've got the lyrics and I'm going to digest very, very quickly what the song is about. I think, basically, we've discussed enough. And I don't even know if it's worth doing the lyrics, but I'm going to bring them up. Havana, oh Havana, half of my heart is in Havana. He took me back to East Atlanta, but all my heart is in Havana. There's something about his manners, Havana. So I'm going to go through this quickly. We're not going to go through it too much because they don't need to be like this and they don't need to be ripped apart. I'm just going to highlight in each verse and then I'm going to talk about it. He didn't walk up with... He did, how you doing when he came in the room he said there's a lot of girls i can do with but i can't without you i knew him forever in a minute that summer that night in june and papa says he got a mallow in him he's got me feeling like mm. so it's a very sultry it's a very sensuous song it's about a guy coming in 
being captivated by the beauty of the woman and in this case it's Diana singing it in the original video it's Camilla portraying that in her video and it's a sensual song about attraction and then it's Havana na 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 but my heart's in Nirvana so it really is about Camilla the original authoress of the song singing about her heritage of Cuba Havana all of that and it comes through the lyrics it's the beauty of we've often heard of Diana talking about the motherland we have you me I've shared that we've cried with many many songs and there's too many to mention but I've done over 17 reactions on my channel Diana is last year was in the top 10 five times I and this year I have featured her only two or three times because this year I have to promote so many new artists because my channel is growing and growing but we continue back into this because Diana singing about my heart is in Nirvana my heart is in music and doing this and promoting new acts so I'm sorry if you say to me oh you should react more and more I will always with Diana I will Come on, five years I've been reacting to Diana's songs. So it continues all the way through. She waited on me. Surely, uh, no, this is a history in the making, point blank, close range. If it cost a million, that's me. I was ge I was getting Muller. And Muller is, I was getting lots of love. So in, in return, she was getting lots of jewelry. And that's the origins of the song of a woman empowering herself saying if you want me if you desire me treat me well spoil me so it continues na 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 ba 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 Havana oh na 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 all the way out and it really is what I said a top 10 hit dance hit like I was dancing because it's about moving it's about getting that Latin experience and releasing and look at the audience there at the very end all clapping for that because when Diana puts in a song like that into her concerts, it's a release. It's escapism for three minutes. Don't we all need that? Well, I hope I gave you that today. And thank you, Diana, for a wonderful interpretation, as always. Thank you, the fans, for listening. And I hope to see you soon. And I'll react to another favorite, favorite song coming up. What is it? You'll just have to subscribe, comment, and like this video. And I'll be back very soon with it. I'll keep you guessing till then. Bye-bye.